A metallic conductor of irregular cross section area is as shown in the figure. A constant potential difference is across, uh, applied across the ends 1 and 2. We have to find out the various, we have to verify the various statements over here. Okay. Now, in this case, in this case, the first thing is the current at any cross section at the cross section P is equal to the cross section Q. If I consider, if I attach a point, okay, a point, this is A, this is B across this point, okay. So, a current in a conductor remains same at any cross section. So, the first statement is correct. We have to find out the uh, electric field intensity at P and Q and we have to verify whether it at P is less than that of Q, is less than that of Q. So, I can say that electric current density will be equal to sigma into E, okay. And the current density is equal to I by A is equal to sigma into E, okay. So, I can say that the area at P is more than that of area at Q, okay. So, I can say that the electric field intensity at P will be less than the electric field intensity at Q. So, the second statement is also correct. Third, the rate of heat generation per unit time at Q is greater uh, at uh, is greater than that of P. Now, the heat generated can be uh, obtained by the formula I square RT or the rate of heat. So, I can say that dH by dt, dH by dt can be written as I square R. Now, the current at uh, both the cross section P and Q remains same. So, I can say that those are basically the comparisons of R resistance at P and resistance at Q. Okay. Now, the resistance is equal to rho L by A. Okay. So, I can say that the resistance is inversely proportional to the area. Okay. Resistance is inversely proportional to the area. Since the area at P is more than area at Q, I can say that the resistance at P is less than the resistance at Q. Okay. So, I can say that the heat generated at P will be less than the heat generated at P will be less than the heat generated at P will be less than the heat generated at Q at in the given time. Okay. So, over here, uh, so Q will be greater than that of P. So, option number C is also correct. Let us see the option number D, the number of electrons crossing per unit area of cross section P is less than that of Q. Okay. So, I has the formula, I has the formula N A B D into E. Okay where A is the area and N is the number of electrons passing through a given volume. Okay. Now, N will be inversely proportional to A. Okay. N will be inversely proportional to A. So, I can say that since area of P is more than area of Q, I can say that the number of electrons passing through unit volume of P will be less than, will be less than the number of uh, electrons or any uh, charges passing through Q. Okay. So, even option number D is correct, okay. That is the number of the electrons crossing per unit area of cross section P is less than that of Q, okay. So, in this case, in this question, all the four options are correct.